Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about CBC blood test. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is CBC. CBC means complete blood count. Now, what is CBC test? CBC test is a blood test that is used to check overall health. It can also be used to diagnose a wide range of diseases including anemia and leukemia. A complete blood count is a test that measures several components of your blood, which includes RBCs that is red blood cells, WBCs that is white blood cells, hemoglobin that is a protein that carries oxygen, hematocrit, and platelets. RBCs are the cells that carry oxygen. White bloods are the cells that help fight infection. Hemoglobin, as I told, it is a protein that carries oxygen. Platelets play a major role in blood clotting. Hematocrit tells the proportion of RBCs in your blood. Abnormal increase or decrease in this number of cells may indicate an underlying medical condition. Now, why is it done? It is a very common blood test that can be done for a variety of reasons. It can be done to review your overall health. So, sometimes when you go for a routine health checkup, your doctor might ask you to get it done. It is also used to diagnose a medical condition. Your doctor might ask you to get it done if you show any signs or symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, bruising, headache, and weight loss. It is also used to monitor a medical condition. Also, it is used to monitor the treatment. This test tells if the treatment is working well or not. Also, sometimes it is used to detect the side effects of certain medications. Now, how do you prepare yourself for this test? If you are only going for CBC tests, you may not need any preparation. But if you are taking another test along with CBC test, which includes blood sugar, then you might need fast. Depending on your medical condition, your doctor will let you know how long you need to fast. Now, how is this test done? What can you expect? For this test, a small sample of blood is taken from your vein, which is basically present in the joint of elbow. This test is very quick and very simple. And after the test, you can go back home. Remember, this is not a definitive test. It means doing this test alone may not diagnose a certain type of disease or a medical condition. This test is done along with the other test to help confirming the diagnosis. After the results, if your values are higher or lower than the normal range, then your doctor might ask you to get other tests done and you may need a follow-up. Now, let us know what may results indicate. First of all, let us talk about RBCs, hemoglobin, and hematocrit all together. If the result of these three cells is lower than the normal range, then you might be at risk of anemia. If the results of these three cells is higher than the normal, then there might be an underlying condition. It may also be a sign of heart disease. Now, let us talk about white blood cells. There are five types of WBCs. In CVC, we measure all the five types together. If a doctor wants to measure the cell count individually, then he might ask you to do CBC differential, which is another test. In the results, if the value of WBC is lower than the normal range, then it may mean you have autoimmune diseases, which destroy WBCs. And if the value of WBC is higher than the normal range, it may be a sign of active infection or inflammation. Now, let's talk about platelet count. If your platelet count is higher or lower than the normal range, then it may be a sign of underlying medical condition. For this, you might require another test to confirm the diagnosis and find out the disease. And the good thing about CBC test is that it is a very quick test which takes less than 5 minutes. The results usually come in a day or two. Along with blood cells, CBC test also tells about a large number of chemicals in our body. So it is one kind of good test. Most of the times you do not need a prescription for this test. But make sure you do not interpret the result by yourself. Always talk to a doctor for interpreting the results and the report. A quick reminder, 
it is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.